Wales, 1974, is number 19, Helen Morgan. Mabuhay, welcome to the Philippines. satellite from the beautiful new Folk Arts Center of the Philippines and the city of Manila, the Miss Universe beauty pageant. Miss Wales. Hello, my name is Helen Morgan from Cardiff. Miss Wales. The next girl who has a chance to become Miss Universe of 1974 is Miss Wales. All right, here we have eight of our semi-finals. Miss Wales, would you step up here to me? This is Helen Elizabeth Morgan, and her nickname is Nellie. And uh, how did you become Nellie? Well, if you spell Helen backwards, it's very similar to Nellie. If I spell Helen backwards, it does not spell Nellie. No, it's very similar. N-E-L-E-H. And it's the known nickname for Helen. Ah, in Wales. Well, in England and Wales. Is it? Yeah. Now, Helen, let's find out a little bit about you. Do you speak Welsh? No. <laughs> Do they teach it in the schools there? Um, they try to. <laughs> well, what do you mean they try to? No one's very interested in learning the language. Oh, really? Isn't it valuable to be able to speak Welsh? No. And, no? No. Everyone speaks English, so very few people are learning the language now. What are your hobbies? I like horses. Horse riding, chess, swimming, dancing. Have you had a chance to do any dancing since you got here? Oh, yes. Good. Right. Thank you, Miss Wales. Now, Miss Wales. Helen Morgan, brown hair, hazel eyes, 113 pounds. Helen is 23 years old. Miss Wales. <laughs> Among our five finalists is Miss Wales. Now, Miss Wales, will you step down here, please? There are four questions remaining. Take one. Give it to me. Miss Wales' question is, tell us a little about the thing that you have enjoyed the most during your visit to the Philippines. That's difficult. I've enjoyed everything. <laughs> um, the traveling around, the meeting all the people here, the Brown Guy Day when we were adopted daughters of different um, towns. Oh, everything. I've enjoyed it all. I'm sure that the people of the Philippines will be pleased to know that, Miss Wales. Thank you. The first runner up is Miss Wales. Miss Spain is Miss Universe. Congratulations. Margarita Mar Mar Rita Moran will have Miss United Kingdom 1974 is Miss Wales. Yes, it is. It's Helen Morgan. Helen Morgan, the girl from Wales who went to the Philippines and was runner up in Miss Universe. This time wins Miss United Kingdom. Number 48, Helen Morgan. <laughs> 21-year-old model, she got Miss Wales, second in Miss Universe, and now she becomes Miss United Kingdom, her sash, her check for 3,000 pounds. A lot more work, a lot more money within the next 12 months. The crown now on her head, and that is Veronica Cross's successor. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Wales is Miss United Kingdom 1974. <laughs>
year, girls from all over the world come in search of the crown of beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss World 1974. Miss United Kingdom. Yes, here she comes, a girl from Wales, the meteoric rise to fame in the beauty pageants. Helen Morgan, the 22-year-old freelance model. Will she make it tonight? United Kingdom. Well, the applause was going as soon as she appeared at the top of the steps. This Helen Morgan with this meteoric rise to fame. It was only back in June she won Miss Wales. In July, runner-up in Miss Universe. September, Miss UK are now here in London looking for Miss World. Helen Morgan from Wales. Will she do it? Fifty-three, Miss United Kingdom. <laughs> Helen Morgan, Miss United Kingdom, 22 years old. She's got brown hair, or Bronu is written here, hazel eyes, and she's 35, 24, 35. Two to go, we meet contestant number 53, Miss United Kingdom. <laughs> Helen, Helen Morgan, hello. Um, hello. You wore a very unusual national costume. What was that about? That's the Welsh national costume. Ah, not a pointed hat. I expected to see a big point there. No, that's a more modern one. That's a 1974 version. Yes. You're not Welsh-born, are you? No, I wasn't born in Wales, but I've lived practically all my life in Wales. Can I ask you something? Do you think this country is in a state of moral decline and plunging towards Arm Armageddon? Or are you a firm <laughs> believer in the indomitable spirit of man and the innate dignity of the species? <laughs> Would you repeat that? No, I couldn't. <laughs> what is your ambition? I don't really have uh, any great ambitions. I think just to um, maybe travel a bit and get a nice job that I like and worthwhile Have doing. you been told beforehand what a year as Miss World would be like? What kind of uh, commitments you would have? Yes, yes. And what might it involve? What does she have to do? I mean, from, we see her vanish from these shores and, and she comes here usually a year later. What do they have to do? <laughs> I believe it's just visiting different functions and attending um, Places that have asked a public for. relations job, not a swimming yes, costume. Yes, a public thing. relations job, then, yes. Fine. Thank you very much, <laughs> Helen Morgan. Thank you.
I shall announce the results in reverse order. And Miss World 1974 is Miss United Kingdom. She's done it. She's done it. Helen Morgan, my goodness, what a career. Only in June, Miss Wales. She goes on to be runner-up in Miss Universe. She goes to Blackpool and wins Miss United Kingdom. And now she's Miss World. The fourth girl from the United Kingdom to win it. Rosemary Franklin and Sydney, then Leslie Langley, and now Helen Morgan. What a career. £3,000, the Miss World Championship trophy, the cloak now being put around her shoulders on that so famous throne, the 24th Miss World. There goes the crown. 56 other girls, of course, now watching this. Julia Morley now crowns Helen Morgan as Miss World. Put it straight. She's now got it all with the scepter as well. Helen Morgan. Miss United Kingdom is Miss World 1974.